Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dave from TwoAverageDudes.com. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by. I would be outside, but it's too windy. You never hear me. Okay, so the lawyers for the Huawei CFO uh, made a submission to the Minister of Justice, David Lometti, calling on him to withdraw the extradition proceedings against Meng, the CFO. Now, she was arrested, I think it was December 1st she was arrested in Vancouver when she flew in. And it was on, it was at the United States request, okay, that she was arrested. And I think they have fraud charges against her and that sort of stuff. So, Canada arrested her, and now there's an extradition order to go to the States. Now, Canada did the United States dirty work. And we were too dumb, well, Canadians weren't, our government was, too dumb to realize that there's going to be repercussions for this. So, the lawyers asked him to do so in the name of human decency and Canadian values. They want him to withdraw the extradition proceedings in the name of human decency and Canadian values. Well, Trudeau always barks human decency, Canadian values around the world, you know, and he's barking at China. So now, Trudeau, you got to put your money where your mouth is, right? Okay, uh, the... The statement also said that the minister should exercise his uh, discretion to withdraw the proceedings because they're without merit. And uh, stopping the, Canadian, the procedures would be in Canada's best interest. Okay, so we have two things. Number one, number one, Justin Trudeau has to make good on all this, you know, uh, things about uh, Canadian values and human decency and everything else. So now he has to make good on that. He has to answer for that to the Chinese people because now they've put it to him. They've turned it back on him because there's two people arrested in China. He doesn't like it. And he's saying human decency, Canadian values, our values, our values, blah, blah, blah. Well, now he has to live up to it. Now they've put it back on him. Good for them. He wants to shoot off his mouth. He's some wing nut. He is out of there. And I'm sorry. I apologize for everybody who's not in Canada, because you might not know how much of a dummy our Prime Minister is. Okay, and do you realize that they just gave Canada a way out? Let her go, and, you know, things might improve. Now, they didn't say directly they would, but they didn't come up with this stuff out of the blue. And the problem started when she got arrested. So, if this goes away, the problems might go away. Seems a reasonable assumption, doesn't it? But our government is not reasonable. They're a bunch of dum-dums. Okay? So, let's just see what they do. Because I hope they have a little bit of a brain left. Okay? I hope they have a little bit. I hope Justin Trudeau sits down and goes, Hmm, what should I do? And I hope somebody in the party has enough sense to say, Justin, you know what? We should take this deal. Let her go. Things might get better. We might be on track then. But, will he do it? I don't know. He should, because he piped off enough about it, saying with all these Canadian values, well, now he has to put his money where his mouth is. Right? Right. And that's why we don't need this idiot after October. So, people, get out, vote. you got to get out and vote in October. we got to get rid of the Trudeau. we got to get rid of this dictatorship that we have had in this country for three-plus years, going on four and the election, it's time to vote him out, get rid of him, let's start getting Canada back on track, back to being this beautiful place that we knew before Trudeau. Guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, you guys take care, be safe.